had written this poem about after seeing the sorry state of affairs, the way the development is taking place in Panjab. It is not targeted against anybody. It's the angst of a common man, a citizen of India, a native of uh, you can say India. I am in India. So. Okay, smart city, smart city, what a pity. All the chamchas are crying out with alacrity. Hastily complete the project before the meeting of the G20 committee so that they can camouflage to the world how smart they are. All roads are dug up. There is not even proper place to walk. Forget all about the flowery words, the empty promises and the bullshit talk. Citizens first walk, walk, uh, want basic amenity. We don't want any more idols of liberty and unity. Then one should even think of a smart city. The traffic signals and the street lights don't work. When you talk about lack of infra, the bosses just frown and smirk. When the Achyadin had come and gone, nobody even knows. Now it's Amrut call. That's what the Supremo tells and shows. Already good roads are again tarred. However hard they try, their image is already marred. Beaches and pristine landscapes are being turned into concrete, iron and plastic eyesores. Cameras on the traffic intersections are just for show. This was bound to be so. Once goons rule the roost and defectors and turncoats become ministers, my my, their plans are so sinister. As they want to recover all the money which they spent in buying votes so quick, quickly. Shitty, shitty, sheer daylight equity. All chamcha, secretary, husbands, wives, beta, beti are in the loot, blatantly filling their coffers, their kitty. Digging up the streets, installing frills, chief flowery pomp and show to fill up their coffers. Making mayors their sons and shoppers. What a shame, what a pity. No control on timelines, cost or quality. Everyone questions the necessity, the integrity. Digging up the sidewalks and covering these with concrete so that millions of gallons of rainwater, which otherwise would have recharged the groundwater, flows down the drain and into the sea. River waters are also being diverted for the MOPA project. Goa will be thirsty and will starve its certainty. Sidewalk trees are strangulated so, after all, Common sense is the most uncommon thing, don't they tell you bro? Once a shady promenade has been butchered, in fact everything has been modified in the city to suit the interest of one single industry. What a pity, what a pity. When it comes to money, everybody has the same religion, same nationality. Ditty, ditty, long live the corruption. As the corrupt and powerful have the maximum longevity, maximum liberty. Hey, why they should be ever bothered about you silly? See, they are doing their own development, they are so busy. What bullshit do we talk about democracy? It has become the laughing stock here and all over the world. There is only mobocracy, mediocracy, neocracy, plutocracy, cacistocracy and passing on the buck mentality. Will it solve the problems of water logging, traffic congestion, parking woes, differently abled access, uninterrupted power supply, pedestrian safety? The coming monsoon will test its success. As of now, it all seems a mirage, a big mystery. We are all at God's mercy. But yes, a smart city will definitely ensure 24 by 7 internet connectivity. So that Janta is hooked day and night to all propaganda, entire diatribe of hypocrisy. Shame on us who have chosen such people to govern us. What a Neta Nagri, what a nightmare, what a pity. Concretization at the cost of nature. See how they have spoiled the beach and butchered all the greenery. What will be left for future generations? Life anyways is a merry-go-round for most of them, living from weekend to weekend, just waiting to enjoy the next party. Folks, if you think my poem is gritty, please excuse me as like you, I am also fed up of all this and behind the veneer can see the ugly, rotten reality. Yes, brothers and sisters, it takes guts and courage to quote reality, which I am sure absolutely we all have abundantly. Please share and like it if you find it witty and have some empathy for the fellow brethren and the nature, so as to fix absolute accountability. Otherwise, sab chalta hai attitude will sink us mutually. It's better we clean the grime or else always remain the partners in destroying our beautiful Goa and Panjim City, this heinous crime. Your good, your good name? I am Ashutosh.